Okay, so here is Go Guardian. Go Guardian is simply a tool to manage one on one student um, technology. And so the way to get started is you can import your classes by clicking this button. It says Import Google Classroom. So once you click it, you'll be able to choose whichever class you want to import. And then you just import the students and you're ready to go. Here are all of my classes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go into a class and start a session. So starting a session is when you open up a class to view what the students are doing on their technology or to support them in any way. So here's the class I want to go into. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up the chat. That's a really key component. And I'm going to click the time amount that I'd like to open up the session or choose a custom end time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a 30 minute session and then click start class. Once I start the class, um, it'll either say student not found, um, most likely it will show up your students, uh, whatever they're viewing on their Chromebook or, or their device, whatever you have them on. And here in this little box, you can see their desk, uh, their basically their desktop. What are they doing? What are they working on? Um, and here you won't see this. This is a teacher classroom for sample uh, video. But in this uh, so in this main page, you'll be able to kind of do a lot of things. So one of the things you'll be able to do is you can click all the students that are online or none, or you can simply, let's say you have these three kids online, you can choose all the online kids and you can open a new tab. So this is awesome if you want to start a class and send them a Google Meet link, especially great for students that are, uh, that can be late or absent or just forget a class. You simply open up a new tab and it opens up the Google Classroom um, or the Meet link that you want them to enter. This can also be used when you're in asynchronous instruction time so like a Google Meet and you want your students all to have this access to this research site or a Jamboard um, that was previously created or something that you want your students to access right away and it just has them, it opens it up automatically on their page. So let's say you want to talk to an individual. So you will choose uh, one of their students and in this Unfortunately, my kids are not online, so I'll have to figure out how to share. But what you do is you choose one of your students, and then you will be able to chat with your student um, if they are online. And I'll show that in another video. Okay, so if you'd like to, if you see a student on an inappropriate site or something that you don't want them to do, what you can do is you can click that student's uh, checkbox and you can lock their device. And while you lock it, you can leave a message. So your message can say, um, uh, on inappropriate site, you should be here and blah, 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 wherever the student should be, and you lock the device. Um, and if this can be like a third, whatever warning, whatever your consequences are, this could be one of the consequences. And how to unlock the device is by clicking unlock device. And when you lock a device, the student cannot um, go to any uh, websites or anything like that. Um, so they're completely locked out of their device. Um, so this is not an effective strategy, especially if your students are, you know, are in class and you want them to be in class. This could definitely um, hurt them because they, they are, they're not allowed to be in class. And so those, those are just the basics on how to get started. Thank you.